Welcome to video 209 in series 3 and now I'm going to write the vehicle exit script. Okay, so make a new C sharp script, we're almost there, and call it vehicle underscore exit. Okay, first off at the top I'm going to have using unity standard assets dot vehicles dot car. and also using unity engine.ai then my two variables private vehicle master vehicle master private destructible master destructible master in the start method i will write this dot enabled is equal to false so that'll disable the script when this uh, when the game starts which is exactly what we want so that you know the player can't try and exit when they haven't even entered the vehicle. Okay, in uh, set initial references, I'm going to put vehicle master is equal to get component vehicle master, and then I'm going to say if get component destructible master is not equal to null, then destructible master is equal to get component destructible master. Then outside of that, I'll make a new method, and this one is void exit vehicle request. If input dot get button down vehicle master dot exit button and time dot time scale is greater than zero, then vehicle master dot call event exit vehicle. And I will call this method inside of the update. So exit vehicle request. So what's going to happen is it's going to basically tell the vehicle master that the player has requested an exit vehicle request when the script of course is active and then there'll be methods inside of this very script there'll be a master well a main method that's listening to the event and that'll trigger everything else so let's go ahead and write all the other methods basically we're going in reverse of what we did in the previous video so I'm going to have another method here called void turn off camera if vehicle master dot vehicle camera is null then return otherwise vehicle master dot vehicle vehicle camera dot set active false okay so we're turning off the vehicle camera okay next method void remove driver from vehicle vehicle master dot driver dot transform dot parent is equal to null vehicle master dot driver dot set active true so now the player is active vehicle master dot driver is equal to null Okay, so we've removed completely a reference to the driver. Uh, vehicle master dot is vehicle occupied is equal to false. So now this vehicle can be occupied again. All right, next method: void disable vehicle control script. So if get component car user control not equal to null, then get component car user control dot enable is equal to false. If get component car controller is not equal to null, then get component car controller dot move pass in zero comma zero comma zero comma one. Get component car controller dot enabled is equal to false. So this will cause the vehicle to apply its brakes and stop moving. That's why I'm just uh, calling that method there and supplying these values in there. Okay, the next method is void turn on, or rather it should be turn off nav mesh obstacle. Oh no, it is turn on. Sorry, I'm confused there. Obviously, it should turn it on. So void turn on nav mesh obstacle. If get component nav mesh obstacle is not equal to null, then get component nav mesh obstacle dot enable is equal to true. So now the AIs will walk around this static vehicle. Okay, the next method is void apply tag and layer to vehicle game object dot tag is equal to vehicle master dot default tag game object dot layer is equal to vehicle master dot default layer number and now all of our AIs that are accompanying us they need to be uh, exited from the vehicle as well so I have a very simple method here void release passengers if vehicle master dot cabin dot child count greater than zero, then vehicle master dot cabin dot detach children. So simple. 
nice and simple. The player will have already been detached from the cabin by this time, and uh, then whatever's left, the NPCs, they'll be detached as well. Okay, so now the method that calls all these other methods. So this is after set initial references. I'm going to type in the method void exit vehicle. Then I'm going to write all these methods. Remove driver from vehicle. Turn off camera. Disable vehicle control script. Turn on nav mesh obstacle. Apply tag and layer to vehicle. Release passengers. And finally, this dot enabled is equal to false. So this script is deactivated. Okay, so now in on enable, put in all this, uh, set initial references, then vehicle master dot event exit vehicle plus equal exit vehicle. Now if destructible master is not equal to null, then destructible master dot event destroy me plus equal exit vehicle. And so this will cause uh, everything to be ejected from the car as it's being uh, destroyed. And then in on disable, the corresponding unsubscribes vehicle master dot event exit vehicle minus equal exit vehicle. If destructible master not equal to null, destructible master dot event destroy me minus equal exit vehicle. So save all of that. And I'm pretty sure that's the uh, complete script there for exiting the vehicle. So why don't we go ahead and attach that to the car and uh, well see that it works or not. And before I forget, let me just apply that as well. Good. Hit it. Let's go. Oh, I will. What I will do is I'll just bring the health r right down. So I'll get to see the car get destroyed when the enemy NPCs attack and uh, then see that the player and uh, our allies are properly ejected. Okay, so one guy's decided that he's just going to go off there and fight against the enemies rather than get in the vehicle. It isn't hard to make a uh, a follow script behavior. Whoops, ran over and uh, make him get in the vehicle. Whoops, it exited. Oh, it blew up there. Uh oh, something not good here. Okay, so you know what all these errors are about. You remember in the last video I told you I was probably, well, I might forget to uh, uncomment that code. Well, that's exactly what I've done. I've forgotten to uncomment this code, and no wonder it's not working. It's never going to work. So uncomment that. So this is in the vehicle enter script. Uh, put in there the code. If get component vehicle exit is not equal to null, then get component vehicle exit dot enabled is equal to true. So the script was never getting enabled in the first place when you get in the vehicle because I just hadn't put that code in there. Okay, let's try that again. Let's see what happens this time. First of all, I'll make sure that I can exit, uh, enter and exit the vehicle. Good, I can get in and out of the vehicle. That's a, a good start. And then next, I'm going to go and see what happens when these guys shoot up the vehicle. Okay, good. So that's it. Now it is actually working. We have a vehicle that when it blows up, the uh, player is actually ejected from it, and uh, there's no errors, and it's all good. Uh, very nice. So <laughs> it was all because I didn't uh, uncomment a bit of code, which I thought I'd make a mistake on and actually did. Oh, well. Uh, now, as for this, let's bump that health up really high and uh, get back in there. Now, I was saying earlier, it isn't hard at all to make a follow behavior a script uh, edit to uh, the NPC AI so that your allies actually try to actually follow you, you know, and uh, stay with you. They don't leave you if you go too far away. Whoa, okay, so maybe I can... Is he a bad guy? No, he's a my guy. Oh, yay, managed to defeat all of them with the, the vehicle, which is now in ruins. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, so all good. That's it. Uh, so thanks for watching. Another video to go, which is to actually make that vehicle apply damage so I can smash through stuff. Okay, so thank you for watching, and see you later.